Arnold up left fielder. High fly ball. That one deep, way back there it goes, and she is gone. Disappearing from sight. Chavis with a two run shot to put the Sox in front. Chavis says, I got your curveball right here, and he just loses it. No doubter, haven't seen that for a while. Boy, he used to do this regular, and he got a breaking ball. Look at that spin. And it just spun right there, and he lifts it way out of here. That's really in his zone right there, too, from the, from the uh, belt buckle down. And a ground ball base hit in center field. Devers rounding third. There will be no play at home plate. The Red Sox lead it three to nothing. RBI single by JBJ. The Red Sox third hit in the inning. Yeah, another know. fastball. You know, for me, the second baseman's got to be diving to try to knock this ball down. You got a man in scoring position. Now watch how far this goes by him. I mean, I think you got to dive and try to knock that ball down, and that saves a run if you do. That wouldn't go over on this team. <laughs> Three two. Oh, oh he tomahawked another one. This one ripped and into the monster seats for a home run. Chavis with his second of the day. Oh and he's hitting them like this. He is a lot of fun to watch. Two for two two blasts. Another breaking ball. Another hanging breaking ball. A three run blast. Look at this. Look at this. Hanger. Oh. Hang me. Bang me. And that's it shortly to short. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. Wade does score. No RBI for Voigt. And the Yankees are on the board at 6-1 Boston. High fly ball by Bobby D, and he's going to crush this one. Watch this one leave. Way out of Fenway Park. Bobby Dobby, he can hit him. That's number seven. Well, I believe he got a fastball, too, and he was all over that fastball. You know he has a very compact swing and he generates a lot of power with that swing fastball right down the middle and see you later. One one is a fly ball lofted into left Gardner sizes that up Jackie Bradley coming home here comes the throw to the plate and he will slide in safely. So the Red Sox grab it on the run Chavis will advance and it is eight to one Boston. Derek Jeter was saying the exact same thing up the middle for a base hit that'll bring in another run Chavis will score and the Red Sox have piled up a nine to one lead on the Yankees high fly ball left field Gardner's back there looking up and that ball's gone number six for J.D. Martinez Red Sox ahead ten to one here in the eighth that is four Boston home runs. Well, that'll show him for throwing a knuckleball behind his back. So now he's got Kratz in his book, huh? Yeah. Three two piece of cheese, if you want to call it that. That soft cheese. That one's driven deep to left field. There it goes. Number 21 for Luke Voigt. And it's 10 2 Boston. We talked about it earlier. I mean, if you're Luke Voigt, uh, sure, it's a feather in your cap to lead the American League in home runs. And I tell you what, that's why you take these extra at bats. You never know as you gimp around the bases for your 21st home run. Their 20th win. And swung on and missed. That puts an end to this one. Red Sox win it going away 10 to 2. And on a sunny Sunday at Fenway, they put an end to the Yankees' 10 game winning streak. And 12 game winning streak against Boston. That is over. Thought maybe we expanded a little bit uh, on some pitches off the plate. Uh, he did a good job of working his two seamer in and then even the change up off of that. Um, but but he was tough. Just just some misses, um, you know, with the fastball where he wanted to go, maybe if he was going away or going in and missing um, across the plate a little bit. I don't think he had the same life on his fastball necessarily uh, maybe a tick off um, and then I thought you know a couple pitch pitch selections where we you know could have mixed a little bit more um, but you know just a, a bump a bump here for him and um, all things that I think uh, you know he can correct and, and go out and, and do what we've seen uh, in his next one.